Lighthouse was constructed in 1869 and was put into use in 1870. It was automated in 1936. Mr. Silverhorn was the first keeper and had donated the land on which this light was built. It is still operating today. This is one of my favorite lights, completed in 1840, discontinued in 1871. It is now a museum. Mr. John Zaire is the current caretaker of this light and says this light was built for $18,000 in 1871. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound and the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too T'was the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind Chris Point Lighthouse was erected in 1904 and was decommissioned in 1993. In 1996, most of the outbuildings were destroyed by a storm. Only the tower remains today.
Forty Mile Point was so named because it's 40 miles southeast of Old Mackinac Point and 40 miles northwest of Thunder Bay. Construction was completed in 1896. Peninsula Point Light Station became operational in 1866. As with most light stations, time and the weather has swept away the buildings. All that remains is the tower. This light was automated in 1925. According to the Forest Service, Peninsula Point is the fall gathering place for monarch butterflies. They congregate to feed up in preparation for their crossing of Lake Michigan. pronounced Sichua Point Lighthouse, according to the Chippewa Indians, means only choice. Also known as the Haunted Lighthouse, visitors and workers have reported strange happenings such as footsteps, the strong smell of cigars, and the sound of someone climbing the lighthouse steps. Many believe the lighthouse keeper is still at work.